And hello everybody, it's Siwaka, and I'm back with a different game this time. This is Stationers, a game that's currently being made by the creator of Daisy, Dean Hall. And it hasn't been released yet, it's not even an alpha, it's not up to the public. And basically because I work a lot on Space Station 13 on my server, I got a key from the dev team. And so I'm here to check it out. Um, I'll play about with the game a little bit, watch a few dev streams, and it looks to be pretty fun and like a game kind of similar to Space Engineers. So I'm going to load up a new world and try to build a little base or something. Let's see how that goes. So I'm going to start on a planet on Mars rather than starting on an asteroid. And you might notice there's some sound for some of the menu options. But for the rest of the game, there's pretty much no sounds at all. So that's why I have this light background music, it's just so it's just not my voice and blank, empty nothingness, like the void of space. So, um, the game might crash. Uh, yeah, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, there is um, basically a server log. So every server is pretty much a multiplayer server at this point. So you start off, start off, you're this little space dude, and you're on this planet. So I'm going to get started and build a little base. So pretty much so far, it's basically creative mode, like if you're speaking in Minecraft terms. There's no survival, there's no really crafting or anything at this point. So um, basically, you just spawn in items. And one of the cool things about this little creative mode that they made is that you can just say the name of the item. So, for example, item steel frames. Item steel frames. So you can see in the top left hand corner, it just changed to item steel frames, and I can press F9 to spawn in some of those. So let's get started with a little base. Um, where would be a cool area for it? I guess. Right over this crevasse. Yeah. So, basically, it's like a grid system. But of course, there's voxel terrain as well. So you can completely drill this out. Oh. Oh my. I have a tear in my suit. Let me just use my jetpack, which is toggle with J, to get out of here. And there's duct tape. Oh, no, no. Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't have built my thing right over this because when you use jetpack it uses up a bunch of propellant so every time I jump it uses up a little bit so I need to use um, some duct tape by holding right click on it to seal the leak in my suit which was that little um, thing in the upper right hand corner I'll pull it out if it comes out again and I think it's night right now or it's turning into night so there's not much light currently but as soon as I get power generation and uh, lights set up you'll be able to see much better because I know YouTube doesn't really handle um, dark environments that well so I'm just gonna build basically this little ground floor and I have four more to use so I just throw that all right here. And I'll just walk on this little tiny beam part for now. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. Oh, so you can see in the upper right hand corner because I've been jumping around so much, I have another leak. So I gotta fix that. So that's a pretty common thing to happen. Because there's no like hard suits, it's just soft suits currently. So you're very likely to get a leak in your suit if you go around doing crazy stuff like I do. So, oh, oh, no, 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 oh, oh, no, oh. no, that was close. Okay, so now let me get some item steel plate. Item steel plate. What is it? Steel sheets, steel sheets. Okay, and I guess you get the steel sheets and that I can construct these. So they're actually a nice thing I can actually stand on instead of balancing precariously over the crevasse with them. OK, 
Okay. And I'm just gonna finish up this little platform. It's gonna be the basically our base. Oops. That was a little early. It's a little finicky. I think the progress bar is gonna complete, but then it doesn't. Oh, gotta fix that hole there. I think that's good. So let me just uh, throw those over there. Why not? And item kit stairs. Item kit stairs. Sometimes it just doesn't want to listen to you. I believe it uses the Windows 10 uh, API thing for voice recognition. I think, anyways. I mean, I have Windows 10, so... Maybe. So, here's basically some entrance. So let's get an uh, item kit airlock. Or is it called something else? Let's see. Air... Lock. Oh, it is called item kit airlock. I just didn't enunciate it properly. So let's put one of the airlocks here. And then we'll build another one... I guess we can just put them right there. There's a small little chamber to act as an airlock. And then we can get some more... Um, item steel frame. And build some more frames around. As far as the walls are concerned of our base. And let me stash this in my uniform. And get those steel plates that I threw so precariously over here earlier. I'm just gonna try to seal up this hole so I don't fall in it. We'll do some exploring later, digging some tunnels. But for now, let's just get some basic things set up, like power generation and batteries. So my suit also runs on batteries. You can see on the life support right there, there's a little charge high thing. So eventually that's going to run out of power. And oh, 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 I just removed my helmet. That was not good. Ooh, that was scary for a second. So, I'm just getting some basic flooring down, so I can just begin to build a little self-contained base area. Okay, now we're going to need some steel sheets as well, a lot of them. To construct all this floor. Oh, I got that. And I can get rid of all this um, dirt, soil, whatever you call it, uh, later with a mining drill. But, I mean, it does bother me a little bit, but it's fine for now. We'll just have to deal with it. And I'm going to leave these open for now because we're going to have to install a bunch of wiring and other related stuff in there, so I would rather not completely rebuild it this second. Or later, I guess. Dun -dun. Okay. Oops, some Z fighting right there. That's that's pretty ugly. Okay. And here we go. Okie dokie. Now let's just make a little roof. So you can see this definitely uses a lot of uh, materials. All these steel frames and steel sheets. So eventually when everything's all completed and the game's um, feature complete, you'll have to actually build all this stuff. I'll see if I can set up a furnace later, but that might be out of the scope for this episode, because it can be pretty complex to get all the air and fuel propane stuff set up, so you don't accidentally vent it into your base and then kill yourself and anyone else. Because this is a multiplayer game, right now anyone could join this game if they 
saw me on the server browser, which actually I think is broken in this version of the game. But yeah, so right now every every game by default is a multiplayer server. It's just you need the IP or you need the server browser. There's no actual like single player stuff right now because it's all built around the multiplayer. Because this game has obviously drawn a lot of inspiration from Space Station 13. So, yeah. Basically, this game is going to focus around, like, away missions as well. So there's basically going to be these missions that you can do. So you can take a space shuttle or a spaceship or whatever it's going to be. And you can fly away to other places and perhaps bring in NPCs or fight people and loot, um, numerous things. They haven't actually coded any of that in yet, but that's definitely one of the planned things to do as far as the game loop. So yeah, this, the away missions, I, I can't wait for those because when they get NPCs and AIs in the game, that's just going to make it seem so much more alive instead of this desolate wasteland. Okay, so I'm just finishing up this roof. Okay. Just gonna make a little small little base area. And we'll add in some windows as well on this side so we can overlook the uh, map limit, I guess it is. Yeah, this is kind of where the map ends, because the maps are pretty limited size right now. Though they're going to increase that in a really soon patch, I think. At least, that's what I gathered from the latest dev stream today, actually. Okay. And then let's just get this done. And then I'll make some windows. And then also you can hide all this ugly framing and stuff with floors because you can also lay wires and pipes and all that um, underneath the floors. So I'm going to do all that before. Um, I think it's item mining drill. Item mining drill. Oh, lovely. Okay. It doesn't have a battery. Okay. So... Let me get a battery thing set up first. I think it's a battery charger. And let me get some cable coils and an RTG. So in the future, you're gonna actually have like nuclear power plants or whatever is planned. But for now, we just have a magic power source for all the power needs. Just throw that over there. And let's just set up a little power depot right here. Oh, I did not want that there. Um, what's the disassemble tool for this? Basically kind of go around with all the tools and see what's the dis disassembling tool. Okay, there we go. That's the right grid. So let's put down a little battery charger. That's going to clip into the wall. So I think... Right... Here. That'd be good. And then... Do some cabling. Bam, bam, bam. And you can see that... This is on, but we need to get some batteries. So it's item large battery. Item large battery. Hmm, what is it? Uh, item battery cell large. Of course, so finicky. Uh, hmm. Why is it not charging? Interesting. I've probably done something wrong. Ah, there it is. So see now it's flashing, so it's charging. So let me spawn in three more. 
for there. And then for now, for the mining drill, I can just um, take out the battery from my screwdriver. So shove that in there, turn the drill on, pick it up, and then I can dig up all this. So you can see there's like iron ore and stuff in there. So with the furnace, and if you have a mining belt and all that, um, you can collect that and refine it into ingots. And you can't really do anything with the ingots at this point in the game, but you can make them. That's the important part. There's always a first step, and I think making something is a pretty big first step. You just gotta actually now code all the functionality. Which kind of actually might be the hardest part, but uh, I'm not the one coding this game. So, actually, let me grab the wire cutters and fix this cable so I can plug it into our airlock system that we're going to build. So there we go. And we're going to build a full on airlock control system. So let me grab some steel sheets and partially make this. So now let me grab a item console. Actually, no, there's a whole computer kit. It's a... Uh, what is it? It's... Let me just scroll for a while so I can find it. There's a whole big thing I can spawn that has all the items in it. Uh, dynamic crate... <laughs> Cable supplies, maybe? Let's just uh, spawn it out here. Ah, yeah, cable supplies. Perfect. Perfect. We'll need those airlock control units. But in the meantime, let's spawn in this console and align it. We're also going to put one on the inside and one on the outside. Perfect. And let's just shove those back in here for future use. We're going to need the configuration disk and the airlock control disk later. But for now, we also need a pipe supplies crate. Er, we need that and building supplies maybe? Perhaps. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think this will be fine. Uh, let's get a flashing light. Okay, flashing light. Let's go install that. So, basically, when we're running our vent system and everything. It's just going to flash like crazy and look cool, primarily. So let's wire that. Hmm. So we're going to have the wire running in from there. So let's build the flashing light right there. And just... Actually, no. Let's not throw that over there. Let's build one on all the... everything build one here as well. Okay. And then one for the outside is a little hazard light. Do not come in. Okay. Perfect. So, now we need to get that active vent. Oh, I have a rip in my suit. I should deal with that before it becomes a problem. And... Let's get that wall light just for now to plug in over here. Just throw that over there and get that wired up. This cable placing system's a little funky at the moment, but uh, 
Dean's that he'll um, make it better um, with the next few releases, I think. That's what he said. Okay, so this needs a pipe. Okay, let's do... The pipe can come in from the top, I guess. Right, yeah. A flashing light. Then also... Do we need an air analyzer? Um... Okay, yeah. We'll need a gas sensor. So let's just plop that in there as well. And... That needs power. Oof, this is getting bad. Okay, I'm just gonna. Um, fuzzle with the console really quick. I think it's this. Uh, nope. It might be wire cut out. Oh, it's probably. It's probably the drill. Let me just take one of these large battery cells. Yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, let's just put that back in our tool belt. So let's put the console there. And put the light oriented so the power cable's like that. So then we can build a three way junction like that. Build another three way like that. And then we're going to need a three-way corner. And that's going to go back into the wall. And... Oh, I didn't wire up that light. Oops. I was going to do that. So let's deconstruct that as a cable, pick it up, and let's get a three-way junction in here. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a little finicky sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta mess about with it. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I don't know why that... Oh, I probably have to turn it on. That probably explains a lot. So, yep, now we have a little light. So, if I turn off my... Uh, helmet light. You know, it's still super dark in that corner, but it's kind of bright over here. But, you know, there's complete volumetric lighting, so if I get a road flare, I can light it and throw it over there, and then see it's all like cool road flare-y. I really like it. And just throw it over that one over there. I see it's like a little disco party in here. So let's get back to the task at hand. And we need to wire up this console on the outside. And this light. So let me put that in there. And rotate. Oh, no. There we go. Okay, so now we just have to wire this in there somehow. That might actually be a little difficult. Hmm. This is more difficult than I anticipated. So let's try. Hopefully, this doesn't like unanchor anything. Oh, it didn't. Thank goodness. Okay. So let's plug in this. And we're going to want to bring that out. And we're going to want to attach cable to this as well. If I can just... I want a three-way corner, actually. And then, just normal, there we go. And then here, I want a four-way junction. 
No. Three way. Silly me. And then just two curvy ones. Whoa, 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 whoa there. Hold on. This is getting a little difficult. Okay. There we go. One. There we go. Okay, now all the cables are hooked up. Perfect. Oh, just gotta get out of there. Let me just... Actually, no. We still need to install the piping for this airlock. So, let me get a tank connector. And plug that in right here. We're gonna need it to go into the top of there. So let's put it... Oh. Oh, this is connected to power. Oops. Um, let me fix that right now. <laughs> That's what's wrong. I knew something wasn't right. Okay. And let's throw that there for a second. And I need to get my wire cutters. I also have a rip in my suit, and that's not good. Okay. I think I have to use a six-way there. Okay. Um, let's repair the breach in my suit. Obviously, this is going to become a common thing. Unless they implement hard suits, which hopefully is a planned feature. Okay. I th I'm thinking it might actually be easier to see. Ah, uh, this might just clip a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, now let's get some of those pipes. We're gonna need some of these straight pipes. Shove this in my backpack and. I don't need any of these. Yeah. Just a corner pipe. Actually, a pat pipe analyzer might be nice. Okay. Okay. So, let's just build our pipes. I'm just going to need to go um, to this side, I think will be the best. And we'll want to use the corner pipe now, I think. Because it is right there. So let's build backwards from there. This is a really big mess of wiring and pipes. I'm sorry if this disturbs anyone. <laughs> okay, and then this one needs to go up. Oh no, it's not up. Dear me. Um, that is up. Yes. Up. Yeah. I didn't know it would be so hard to determine what direction is up, but it's kind of hurt when it's pitch black all the time. But I guess that's the nature of other planets and of space. Okay. I think these need steel frames to finish them off. Actually, no. I need airlock um, sheet things. So... circuit board, airlock control, and I'll need some steel sheets as well. So let me stash these wires in here, and bam, bam, bam. So now it looks like an actual wall. 
Well, it doesn't look like an actual wall, it looks like frames. But I'll add an actual wall to this right after we finish this. Where did I put... Oh, I didn't even spawn any, that's why. So I put the airlock control thing in there. And then I somehow take the wire out of my pocket without meaning to. And I construct the console. So right now, there's an error in config because it doesn't have a... There's these little configuration cards that I pointed out earlier that I said we would need. Uh, you need to have a master console and plug those in. Oh, I forgot to plug in the airlocks. Oh no. Okay. I will plug those in right after I finish putting these in the consoles and getting the configuration card in one of them. Um, yeah, I just need... Okay. Whoa, whoa, no, do not fall in the ditch. And I have another Teramite suit. How lovely. <sighs> Absolutely wonderful. So, I think because this episode's getting a little long, I think we're just going to stop it after I get this little airlock finished up and I get this placed all nice and pressurized. So, I need to deconstruct this airlock because I figure it will be best if I have the power and data ports on the same side because then I can just wire it all together at once. So, I need to... Oh, well, I didn't mean to take my uniform off. Oh, no. Uh... Ooh, okay. This is interesting. I didn't even know you could take this off. There we go. Nope, no. Nope. There, yep, there. Perfect. Okay. We're gonna need wire cutters. And we're also going to need wire. Our favorite friend. So this is already... Oh no, it doesn't. That's not the one that goes in. That's the one that goes in. Okay, this will be less hassle then. Okay. Well, it'll still be hassle, but not as much as it could be. So, for here, we're just going to want some straight cables. I'm just going to make this nice and clean, even though I'm not really going to ever see it again after I put some flooring here. And this needs to be a four-way junction. And this needs to be a straight cable. And that can be a wonderful... As soon as I get it, at least. Oh, no. <sighs> so... Not nice sometimes. Okay, perfect. Now it's all connected, and you can see the airlocks have power now. It's all nice. Oh, I didn't want to throw those wire cutters away. Gosh darn it. Okay. So, if I turn this one on, I can see, because I have this configuration card, I have a bunch of cool settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spawn in some uh, wall. Item kit wall, yeah. And what this does is basically hides everything. So I can put that there and put that there. Then let me stash away my wires. And I don't have any item steel sheets. Item steel sheets on me. So let me just spawn some in. And then if I construct this, See, it's all nice and covered up, and it looks beautiful now. So let's just build that on the top. Excuse me, that was my phone. And let's put a nice wall here as well, because I said I was going to. And, you know, it's good, because the character of someone is determined by how they keep their promises. So... Let's put a wall there, so it can be nice and neat and tidy. And then let's open up our backpack. 
stash that in there. Get a crowbar. Oh, I guess I can't at the moment. So let me just cover this all nice with walls. So everything's much nicer. And grab that. See, now it looks like actual proper functioning airlock. It's all clean. Nope, nope. There. So let's build that there as well. There, there, there. And there for good measure. Perhaps here as well. Okay, and then let's build all these walls. Collect, collect those. Oh, because I have 50. 50 is apparently the max stack. Okay. That was a little buggy. Just a slight amount. Did I not place a wall here? Oh, I did. It's just kind of conflicting. Small amount. Okay. Well, even though that kind of looks really ugly. Let's eject that copper ore out of existence. Okay. Perfect. So let's get a labeler and label all this stuff. And hopefully the game doesn't crash here. That's kind of what crashed me out last time I played, was renaming all this stuff. So let's call this Exterior Console. And let's name this um, Exterior Airlock. So you can rename all this stuff, So because you can program all this. Because there's also logic computers which you can go full on like programming and stuff. So let's rename this uh, middle console. Hmm, it's kind of fighting. Probably misspelled something. Uh, it's fine. It's it's totally fine. Then let's close this airlock for now because we'll want it closed. We need to put windows there also first before we actually do this. And we need to label this uh, interior airlock. And interior console. Okay, great. So I'll just uh, throw that labeler on the floor, throw it anywhere, honestly. And let's build some windows. Which are pretty nice, you know. They give you a view. I mean, I'm leaving all my giant crates of stuff out there, which could have come in handy. But I mean, I can still go out the airlock. So as you can see, they're windows, right? But after you construct them out of steel, you're not done because windows kind of have glass in them also. So we gotta spawn in some glass and put it in the windows. So now you can see I can't really run through them, or I could kind of run through those ones before. Oh, there's a leak in my suit also, again. And my KPA is getting low. So I gotta fix the leak with duct tape. What a common occurrence. Also, apparently my suit battery is getting low. So let's uh, plug a brand new one in. That's what's great about this battery cell thing. So, what else did I need to do? Um, I could pressurize this room, but let me get this airlock set up first. So we're gonna need, need a dynamic gas canister air. Dynamic gas canister air. We're gonna need a big giant air canister, and we can just Grab it and plop it right there. Then we can grab a wrench and connect it. Don't mind that it's clipping through the wall. That's completely normal. Huh, so you can see it's kind of releasing some pressure already. So let's completely configure this. So, oh, it just scrolls through. Okay, so. That's going to be the exterior, that's going to be the interior, that's going to be a light. Make that a slave. You gotta slave those consoles. Completely enslave them. And do all this. 
And we don't need to bother about the wall light. We do need that gas sensor. Okay. Perfect. We didn't install our gas analyzer, but we don't need that. It's fine. So now we can just take out this configuration disk and uh, chuck it over there. Why not? So, cycle this to interior, and you can see the lights flash. Everything goes crazy. But the environment in here still isn't changing. So... So yeah, you can see it completely put a bunch of air in here. Yeah, so we're probably going to have to get some more air to pressurize this place. So let's just get a few canisters and just sh let them shoot out all this air. Pressurize this whole place up. So as you can see in the top right corner, right there, the KPA is increasing, so it's actually kind of livable for humans now. So, let me just uh, wait for it to be a little more. Oh, did I not turn this on? Oh, oh, it's already, it already turned it on automatically. That's nice. Okay, so all this is just still completely just dispersing out of where all this air has to fill up all the corners of this room. And as you see all that, that's actually getting pretty low from having to fill all this stuff. So let me just put a, another gas canister full of air just in this corner and shove it there. There's no actual like admin edit thing to delete stuff at the moment, so I'm kinda just left with a big bunch of junk that you have to either put in like a burn chamber and incinerate it completely, or whatever. Huh. All the air is flying towards here. Is there a leak? Or is it just because the cans are over here? It might just be because the cans are over here. Huh. This is interesting. I mean, we aren't losing pressure, so I don't think that anything's incomplete over here. Let's just put that down to 100 kPa. Put this down to 100 kPa. So everything's not too crazy. And now let's cycle for the exterior. So let's just cycle to exterior. So this closes, and it completely sucks all the air out of here so we don't suffer some crazy depressurization thing. And of course I have a hole in my suit. I should probably fix that before going out. And you see we're all depressurized, as you can see in the top right hand corner. And so we didn't waste any air. So, let's see if there's any holes. I don't think that would really be considered a hole, according to the air, but, you know, let's just make sure it's not a hole. So yeah, this is kind of the basics of stationers. There's a lot of other things that you can do. So, let me end the episode off with a little bang, if you see. So let's just go back inside, so it's gonna slam the airlock, and do all this stuff, and repressurize, as you can see in the top right hand corner, to be equal to the temperature. Not temperature, I guess the temperature also, because it's using the gas. But, so let's spawn in some hydrogen canisters. Um, maybe not hydrogen canisters. What is it? It's dynamic gas canister F 
teal. I think this will do nicely. So let's, uh, I'll put this out. So now you can see this new indicator. It says, like a skull and crossbones, which means toxic gases are present. So if we get these to output a whole bunch of gas, so you can see it's, there's so much gas, it's just pushing us. And let's just get one more for good measure. Jeez, the pressures are crazy. It's pushing me up against this wall. Okay. So yeah, this is kind of sketchy. So now the entire thing's filled with air, or hydro hydrogen, maybe? I don't know what it feel. I think it might be hydrogen. Um, so let's do some explosions. So let me get an igniter. Item igniter. Perfect. And let's just uh, spawn it. Oh, it doesn't spawn ignited. Hmm. Let me just uh, rig it up really quick. I think it needs power. So let's just uh, cut this power here. As you can see, everything just went crazy care about that anymore. Let's turn on the igniter. Oh gosh. Hydrogen fire everywhere. Everything's blowing up. Look at the gas pressure. Everything is gone. I'm crazy. Emergency override. Let's override this. See all the gas is just pushing us over here. Everything's on fire. This is amazing. Nothing will open. So see now that's opened. So now everything's going to get pushed out the airlock. So let's cycle to exterior. Or emergency override. Emergency override. So we need to get out of here. Out of this base. And everything just got sucked. Oh my gosh. Everything just got flung everywhere out of our base. And that's what a hydrogen fire will do. It will completely destroy everything. So, let me try. Oh, what's wrong now? Oh, there's just holes in my suit. Okay. Well, it seems my vision's kind of graying out, and I'm dying. So, I think this is a fitting good end for the episode. So, if you want to see more Stationer's gameplay, let me know in the comments, and... Maybe I'll make some more videos, maybe make an actual base instead of just building a test thing like this to completely blow up. We'll see. Anyways, this is Ziwaka. Peace.